Learn this copywriting skill and I promise you it will become your secret superpower for making more money this year. Even if you think you hate selling, even if you think you are a terrible, terrible writer, and even if you think you have zero experience in sales. Can you guess what it is? Keep watching. Hey Bossy, what's up? It's Alex and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the number one copywriting skill that anyone can use anytime to help them sell anything to anyone else. And I will give you three tips so that you can start learning the secret superpower as soon as today. Because whether you realize it or not, you sell something every single day. And no, I'm not just talking about selling products and services, yes, that is selling, but we are constantly selling people on our ideas and opinions. The image we wanna portray by the clothes we wear and the way we do our hair, the type of person we want people to believe we are, where we should go out for dinner this weekend, what show we should watch on Netflix tonight, what style of couch we should buy, where our next vacation should be, and the list goes on and on. By the way, do you wanna join my cult? <laughs> it is human nature that we want people to see things the way we see them. We want people to agree with us all the time because we're right all the time, right? <laughs> we want people to believe the stories we tell ourselves about ourselves. We want people to pick up what we are putting down every single time we open our mouth. And yep, you guessed it, this involves a certain amount of selling our ideas, opinions, and beliefs. And the skill I'm talking about today will become your secret superpower to do just that. I can't promise you'll be right all the time, but you will become way more persuasive and even more likable. So what is this super skill you ask? Well, before we get into it, please give me a thumbs up below if you want to see more content like this. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, then what are you even doing? Right here on my channel, you'll learn how to ignite your business through the power of words. From branding, copywriting, sales, social media, networking, mindset, and so much more, I am here to help you take your messaging, communication, and marketing to the next level. So if that sounds good to you, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button below and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Now, when it comes to sales, here are a few things that I hear all the damn time. <laughs> Selling is slimy. I don't want to feel like a used car salesman, Alex. Selling is complicated. I don't know the right strategies to convince someone to say yes to me. Selling feels needy and desperate, like I'm begging someone for money. Selling is scary and honestly I am afraid of rejection. What if someone says no? What is a story that you are telling yourself about sales? Comment below and let me know and I promise you are not alone. But no matter what your sales story is, one thing is for sure. We love to make it seem super scary and complex because hey, it is scary and complex to put ourselves out there. But honestly, forget all of that because selling really only comes down to one thing, solving a problem. The best and the most seamless sales experiences are when you're engaging in a conversation with someone who is genuinely interested in what you have to say and is genuinely interested in helping you solve that problem, right? We can think back to sales experiences that have been actually pretty enjoyable. But did you catch that? Because I just revealed the secret superpower to selling anything, conversations. And not to make it sound like stupid simple, but the best sales experiences are simple. They're simple conversations, listening and responding without, and this is key, without the expectation of compensation. That's what feels desperate, right? And that's why learning how to write conversational copy and marketing is the key to selling anything, which again, sounds simple in theory, but as I mentioned earlier, we do this all day, every day with everyone in our lives. We have simple conversations and we try to convince other people to see things the way we do. But then when it comes to our business, you'd be surprised how many marketers and copywriters and business owners have such a hard time getting this right. It's like, they get all nervous and then they try so hard to stick to a script that honestly just feels inauthentic and gross. We have all been there. Not to mention, and I talked about this a few weeks ago in another video, this year conversational marketing is a huge trend that you simply cannot ignore. Now more than ever before, customers are seeking out more personalized and conversational buying experiences and honestly will avoid anything that feels like a sales trap. So let's go through three tips to help you really understand what conversational marketing is and how you can start applying it to today in your selling, 
in a way that doesn't feel like selling. Tip number one, chat with your bestie. <laughs> so selling should always be first and foremost about relationship building. You've probably heard me say that before. Before you ask for a single penny, an email address, or even a like and follow, you want your customers to feel genuinely seen and heard. You want them to feel a sense of belonging with you and your brand or your business. And how do you do that? Well, there are a lot of ways, but one of the simplest ways to do this is to talk and write in the exact same way that you would talk and write to your bestie. Treat them like the real people that they are, even if it's just through a DM or an email. So many people get hung up on wanting to appear professional and likable that they completely mask their entire personality. And I get it, when you're nervous, that's kind of what you do. Or they'll talk in a way that someone in their industry should talk. Or even worse, they'll just completely copy someone else's way of communicating. And as a result, their messaging and marketing is dry and boring, or worse, just completely inauthentic. Remember that your audience, your customers and your clients can feel when something is scripted or forced and they need to know, like, or at the very least trust you before they commit to making a purchase with you. I mean, that's just obvious, right? Like a stranger isn't going to give you money unless they know, like, or trust you. And in order for that to happen, you need to show them who you are, like really who you are. What are your values, your quirks, your sense of humor? Do you curse sometimes? If you do, do it. I promise it will be okay. Ask me how I know. If you say y'all instead of you all, do that. If you're weird, Hey, be weird. Welcome to the club. If you're funny, I like to think I'm funny, <laughs> but I don't know if I am. Crack some jokes, right? If you're nerdy, own it loudly and proudly because that is the beauty of the world. There are so many people out there and they are looking for you and looking for someone to relate to. That is what the people want. Being you is your number one sales superpower. All right, now let's move on to tip number two. And this one's simple, but so important. Read everything you send and write out loud. This is such an easy tip, but it is often ignored and overlooked and you can tell when you read read it. Just read everything out loud. Really, doing this one thing can go a long way in making your messaging sound more friendly, more casual, and just super conversational. So think about it this way. When you're having a conversation with someone you know, like your best friend, how long can you talk without pausing to catch your breath? I actually think that is one of my superpowers. I can really talk a lot, but probably not very long, right? A sentence or two, max, maybe, right? So then why would you type out huge, long paragraphs of text? Long run on sentences and paragraphs that take up like half or the full page, especially on a mobile device, right? That is so extremely overwhelming to your readers. So remember to keep your sentences short, your paragraphs short. Don't use fancy words that you can't personally pronounce or words that you would never actually use in real life. I know when I send messages, I'm like five words and then the next text and then five words and the next text, right? That's how I text my friends. And that is how I message my community. So loosen the reins a little bit on your grammar and how you communicate. It's okay to use a lot of exclamation marks or a, you know, all caps word when you're really excited. It's okay to use dot, dot, dot at the end of a sentence. I mean, I'm pretty sure I do that at the end of every single sentence in my emails. It's okay to use the occasional uppercase text or a dash that doesn't really make sense, but a comma and a period doesn't make sense. So I'm just going to put a dash in there. <laughs> Remember being conversational is all about engaging with your reader, building trust and writing in the way you actually communicate. And that is just not going to happen if you're all stressed out about having the perfect grammar structure and form. Format. So just write like how you talk and read everything out loud or else you'll end up coming off as overly formal. And honestly, that's just not a good look these days. I mean, if you really think about it, AI is everywhere and people are so hyper aware of its existence and so very sensitive to feel like they're being duped or lied to, especially when they think they're speaking to a real human and they're not. So when you're overly formal or stiff in your writing, I'm just going to be honest and say that a lot of people might actually think you're an AI bot or something like that, like a very, very formal customer customer support bot. <laughs> and they'll be very unlikely to keep engaging with your content if they think there is a robot behind it. I don't know, it's just a guess. So please stop stressing about being perfect. I have to tell myself all the time, I am a recovering perfectionist, but allow yourself to relax a little bit and be less formal, right? And finally, my forever favorite tip to help anyone get better at conversational marketing, tip number three, storytelling. Yes, the oldest form of communication on the entire planet. Hundreds of years before the printing press, iMessage, voice memos, YouTube, or going viral on TikTok or Instagram, we had stories and not the kind that you post on Instagram, real stories. We were passing down information and knowledge about our culture and traditions, right? But we also use stories to connect and relate to one another as humans. And today that element of storytelling is just as important as ever before. When you use storytelling in your marketing, you not only 
only capture and keep your audience's attention more effectively because you're using something called narrative transport where people's guard is dropped and they're actually listening to what you have to say, but you're also able to connect more with your audience and you seem way more relatable. Listening to a story about the one time you saved your neighbor's life or learned an interesting lesson or solved some strange mystery is so, so much more powerful and interesting than reading a laundry list of facts and features and why someone should buy your stuff. Stories create curiosity and more importantly, they create relatability, authority, and trust with your audience. So that of course is one of the very important steps to selling anything, right? So in turn, that helps you sell more of your products and services naturally. Now I have a whole video where I break down my four favorite storytelling methods. So if you wanna learn more about this form of conversational marketing and how to use it today, I will link to that at the end of this video so you can watch it next. And if you wanna learn how to apply everything I talked about in this video into your business, then I highly recommend you download my free brand voice checklist below where I'll help you map out the 11 core elements of your brand that will make selling so much more easier and fun, I promise you. And it'll help you attract your dream clients and customers. I will see you next week with a brand new video. Until then, I'm Alex, ciao for now. All right guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out the next one from me right here. And you can click right here to get a free gift. Riddle me this, what is as old as time but reborn every single day? You can hear it, see it, smell it, taste it, feel it but it's completely invisible. It exists in every single country in the world, yet you still take it with you everywhere you go. Any guesses?